Greetings in the love and in the light of our infinite prime creator, the divine grid programmer. Let us remember that in the beginning was the verb and that the verb was with God and that the verb was God. This topic pertains to the vowels and the chakras. In ancient times, the seven vowels of nature resounded in the entire human organism from head to toes. And it is now necessary to restore the seven notes in the marvelous harp of our organism in order to restore the lost powers. The vowel I causes the pineal and pituitary glands, pituitary glands to vibrate. These two small glands are united by a small, extremely subtle canal or capillary, which has already disappeared in cadavers. The pineal gland is located in the superior part of the cerebrum cerebrum even, and the pituitary gland and the cavernous plexus between the two eyebrows. Each of these two small glands has its vital aura. And when these two auras blend, the spatial sense is developed and we see the ultra of all things. The vowel E causes the thyroid gland, which secretes the biological iodine to vibrate. This gland is located in the throat and it resides the chakra of the magical ear. The vowel O causes the heart chakra, the center of intuition and all types of power to travel in the astral, in the jinn state, etc., to vibrate. The vowel U causes the solar plexus located in the umbilical region to vibrate. This solar plexus is the telepathic center and the emotional cerebrum. The vowel ah causes the pulmonary chakras which permit us to remember our past lives to vibrate. The vowel mm, profanely held as a consonant is vocalized with the lips closed without opening the mouth. And the sound that comes out through the nose is the mmm. The vowel in causes the inseminus, the waters of life, the mercury of secret philosophy to vibrate. Mmm. Try it. Come up with your own variation. The vowel s is a sweet and gentle hissing which causes the fire inside of us to vibrate. Seated in a comfortable armchair, we have to vocalize I, E, O, U, A, N, S, carrying the sound of each of these seven vowels from the head to the feet. It is necessary to inhale, then and exhaling the air together with the well-prolonged prolonged vowel sound until exhausting the exhalation. This exercise has to be done daily in order to develop the internal magical powers. So, let, allow me to demonstrate. A major, B flat major, C major, C major. E Ah. Uh. 
As I said, practice. You'll come up with your own variations, but the point is, is that these vowels, these sounds, and this is just the tip, folks. We haven't even got into all the Hindu mantras, sacred sounds, and how sacred sound and sacred geometry mingle and work together to increase the strength and potency of our light body. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button as we continue our journey into Gnosis. Namaste, Namaskaram.